Global Ethics Corner from the Carnegie Council. In the Congo Basin of Central Africa, bonobos can be found sharing, playing, and even empathizing with their fellow chimps. That's right, chimps can feel empathy. At least, that's what a new book by Dutch primatologist Franz de Waal suggests. In The Bonobo and the Atheist, de Waal uses evidence drawn from decades of primate research to argue that moral behaviors, like sympathy and kindness, are the product not of God, but of Darwinian evolution. Instead of coming down to us from an external source, like God, DeWall says morals come from within. Using data drawn from primates, wolves, orcas, and elephants, he shows that empathy, altruism, and cooperation are actually survival mechanisms that mammals have developed through centuries of evolution. This suggests that biology, rather than religion, is responsible for our ability to distinguish right from wrong. But if religion doesn't dictate morality, neither is it useless. Unlike neo-atheists like Richard Dawkins, DeWall believes that religion can play a useful role in human society. He points out that unlike other animals, humans are deeply concerned with the abstract appropriateness of human behavior. Just think of the heated moral arguments surrounding topics like the death penalty or abortion. According to DeWall, that's where religion comes in. At its best, religion can offer abstract moral guidance in a way that science can't. And it's that very position which places DeWall firmly at odds with new atheists like Sam Harris. As you assess the role of religion in your life, where do you think morality comes from? If we don't need God to be moral, what purpose does religion serve? Marlena Sperry wrote this week's Global Ethics Corner. I'm Terence Hurley of Carnegie Council. Made possible by the Carnegie Council for Ethics and International Affairs. Post a comment at www.carnegiecouncil.org.